as we mentioned earlier, the threat for nuclear meltdown continues in northern Japan, and that's causing concerns for some in Hawaii who fear the radiation could come to the islands. So we sent KITV 4's Moni Kiela Navarro off to find out if there really is reason for concern here in Hawaii. Another fire broke out at the fourth reactor at the Fukushima Daiichi power plant in Japan today, heightening concerns for even more radiation release. We talked to Lynn Nakasone from Hawaii's State Department of Health. She says although there is no radiation hazard here, the department takes this situation very seriously. If they felt that there was going to be a danger to Hawaii or any of the other states, they would notify us immediately. This is a RADNET system, a tool the state has been using for the past 20 years. It measures Hawaii's air quality around the clock and will indicate if something unusual has been detected. We're in constant contact with our federal partners, so everybody's gearing up for this. Everybody is aware of this. Uh, information is streaming to us as soon as they're getting it, we're getting it. Nakasone says although the department considers the risk of radiation exposure in Hawaii to be highly unlikely, it is prepared to take action. We would have um, options for the public either shelter in place, provide uh, potassium iodide pills if needed. There will be tons of information provided. Well, potassium iodide pills can help prevent cancer in the thyroid caused by radiation exposure. Stores across Hawaii have been wiped out of the pills, but the state health department says taking the pills as precaution is not recommended.